time around. I'll be showing you some questions on that trigonometry. I don't know why people fear trigonometry for CBT question because trigonometry is the most simplest one. The most method you can use for trigonometry is the instructing method. Just keep instructing the value for any maybe x or theta or anything given to you. Now, let us go with this question. The question says you should simplify this and this are the options. And when you have this option, you observe that you are given the question. And with the question, we have the options with it. So we press the first one. For the question, you press your course. So when you press the course, you observe that on your calculator, the course will open the bracket. So you are going to substitute a value for the theta here. The same value you substitute for the theta is the same thing you are going to substitute for the option. Just master the values you substituted. So that's all. So now, just let us use two for the theta. So in press two, then you close the bracket. When you close the bracket, press raise to the power. When you press raise to the power, you observe that this cost is raised to the power 4. So press the 4. When you press the 4, then take your calculator, shift it. Press the forward direction to shift it to the middle here. Now when you shift it to the middle, we have the sign here to be minus. When you press the minus, so press the next thing, which is sign. So when you press the sign, then the value we substituted, which is 2. So press 2, close the bracket, then press raise to the power. When you press raise to the power, you press the value here, the power, which is what? 4. Then press equals to. When you press equals to, you observe that the value you get here is, is 0 0.99, let's say 8. 0 0.998. Now, when you have 0 0.998, our target here in the option is to insert the same value we inserted in the words, in the question, into this option. When we insert that, the same option that can give us the same answer, which is 0 0.998, is our correct answer. So let's go with the option A. Option A says cos 2 theta. Don't forget the theta we inserted is all 2. So press cos. When you press cos, then you press 2, which is this. Then multiply by what's the value of theta we inserted? Don't forget 2. So press 2, close the bracket. Now when you press close the bracket, press equals 2. Now when you press equals 2, you observe that this is equals 2. Is 0.998 as well, approximately. 0.998, which is the correct answer. But many will not believe that these are our correct answer. So let's go, press AC. Then let's go for the option B. Press your turn. Turn will open the bracket immediately, you press it. Then we have two here. Then multiply by, what's the theta we are using? That's two. So when you press, that's two times two. Close the bracket. Then press equals two. You observe that this value is 0 0.699, which is not the same thing. Press AC. Let's test option B, option C. Option C, don't forget it is cut. And cut is one over time. So press your fracture button. When you press the fracture button, at the numerator we have one because cut is one over time. So, and we don't have cut on the calculator here. So we have to use one over time, which is the value for the cut. So come to your denominator, you press stand. When you come to your denominator, you press stand. It will open the bracket. That's stand two theta. So we now have your two. So when you press two, the multiply by what's the value of the theta we are using, which is two. Then close the bracket. So multiply by 2, close the bracket, and press equals 2. You observe that this value is 14.300, which is not the same thing. Press AC. Let's go for the last option. So press sign. When you press sign, you press it, open the bracket. So press your 2, which is here. So press multiply by the value of the theta is 2. Close the bracket and press equals 2. You observe that this value is 0 0.698, which is not the same thing. So the one that is equal to the Question is what is the option A, which is the correct answer. So in this aspect of the question, you just insert, and that is all. So with this, you are good to go, and you'll be impeccable with the question given to you. You'll be error-free with this method. So I believe you've learned something. You can try this method with many questions, and you will definitely see it, that it works for most of the questions. Thank you very much. So comment, like, and subscribe. Comment, let us see the kind of shortcuts you need in the next video. Thank you very much. God bless you. Love you.